everyone. So today, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how to make lipsticks out of crayons. Now, what you're going to need is you're going to need one of these skewers things. <laughs> you, or you could use a toothpick. Something to put it in. I use a milk bottle. But I've made a purple one. A black one. Um, a red one. And two greens. But I'm going to make another one, so three greens now you're gonna take the wrapper off a crayon and you're gonna snap it in half and you're gonna get a saucepan put water in it and then put another bowl in and then you're gonna set it to medium to high so about here then you're gonna it doesn't matter what crayon you use some people use Crayola but that's fine if you want to but um, if you don't want to use Crayola, that's fine. I I don't use Crayola, and for my lipstick, I use this like little paintbrush end. I've messed that up. Um, so yeah, let's just get mixing. So they take about Crayola ones. They take about thirty seconds to melt. Other brands take about, I don't know, like a minute to melt. Okay, so just, let's just wait. Let's just wait. Let's just wait. Let's just wait. Um, I know if you look on the time on YouTube, it said 1 minute 45. I haven't put it in for 1 minute 45. Um, okay, so it's starting to melt a bit more now. So... And tonight, just to let you know, I'm making a birdhouse. I'll just go in the mirror. Making a birdhouse tonight, so that'll be good. Um, I'm making a birdhouse, and we're setting a fire. Not to our house, don't we? We've got a proper little fire burner out there. Proper little fire burner. So, I have made a video on that, so you should have seen it. It's up. Or you could use this skewer to um, put your lipstick on. I might use my skewer to put my lipstick on now. But I'm with a different brand, so it probably takes me approximately three minutes. So just so you're not bored, I will speed it up. Right, so it's nearly done. Okay, so let's speed it up again. Okay, so it's done now. Um. Oh. One thing, guys, about applying your lipstick is you're going to need as well. Let me just move this chair out of the way. It's for YouTube. It's for YouTube. Do you want to be on the YouTube? No. Okay. <laughs> um, so, where's my... Oh, there it is. I use vegetable oil. The independent one. It doesn't really matter. And I'm only going to pour a few little... Drop. So one, two, and now I'm going to mix it again. So I know what you guys are probably thinking. Ooh, it looks so flaky. But if you mix it a lot, then it won't be flaky. So it's going a bit more smooth. I'll speed it up for you. Right, so, I've finished, so now I'm going to show you how to pour. I will just set you on there because I need both hands, so I'm going to turn it off. Smoking. 
guys, it might be a bit hot for you, so let an, if you're like young like me, let an adult do it, but so it might be a bit too much for this, but if you haven't already noticed, I'm using a milk lid. You could use something else. I, for my other ones, I've used like, you know, the washing things. I've used them and I've used like little eggs that you can like use for different things. And guys, this formula is actually more safer than some lipsticks out there, so. Just pop it in the fridge. Where's Kitten go? Outside. So, after you've done. Need that to the side a minute. Um, after you've poured it, put it in. The oh shit! Oh man, you just saw the video. Um, where's the bitter one? Actually, be quiet. This um formula is actually safer than some lipsticks out there. So if I were you, I'd go out, buy some crayon crayons or any crayons, and start making this because it's super easy. So cheap, and it doesn't even take you. No, it um, right. Okay, it's been about ten minutes now. And that looks pretty cool. Baboon. I did spill some up here though. Oh, I could use that for lipstick. Let's go. No, no. Alright, so make sure to give this video a like and watch and take me out. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, comment if you want, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Peace out, dude.